North Korea set off worldwide concern with its claim to have tested a hydrogen bomb. But now many experts say that may not be the case. Steve Handelsman shows us how the report is still making a mark on the campaign trail. As North Korea claimed it set off a hydrogen bomb, it released footage of North Koreans cheering the announcement. It's for self-defense, said this man. Something big exploded at the North Korean test site, but the earthquake waves it made did not indicate an H-bomb, said the White House. The initial analysis is, is not consistent with uh, the North Korean claims of a successful hydrogen bomb test. A fusion H-bomb, like this one seen in government footage tested by the U.S. in 1952, is far, far more powerful and dangerous than the ordinary fission atomic bombs North Korea has already detonated. But experts say dictator Kim Jong-un ordering today's test signal that he is developing an H-bomb. And so even if this were not a hydrogen device, that, that is clearly their intention. Republican candidates blame Democratic presidents, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. When you allow a megalomaniacal maniac to acquire nuclear weapons and now potentially a hydrogen weapon, it makes it all the more dangerous and difficult to deal with them. Hillary Clinton in a statement said, we need a commander in chief with the experience and judgment to deal with a dangerous North Korea on day one. Led by the Obama administration, the UN Security Council today unanimously agreed to toughen sanctions. But nothing has worked so far to keep the isolated outlaw nation and its young dictator from building the world's worst weapons. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington. Fear of nuclear fallout led Japan to launch planes with special equipment to check for radiation. Japan is within 600 miles of the test site, and their planes detected no irregular radiation on their mission. Japan is also the only country to have cities destroyed by nuclear weapons. Today in Hiroshima, people came to pray at a peace park dedicated in memory of those killed in the 1945 atomic bomb blast. That atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima has just a fraction of the power of a hydrogen bomb like the one North Korea claims to have tested. The Hiroshima blast and radiation killed close to 140,000 people. The atomic bomb destroyed everything in a one mile radius and sent a radioactive mushroom cloud more than 10 miles into the air. For some perspective, a hydrogen bomb tested by the U.S. military in 1954 created a mushroom cloud. It went nearly 30 miles high. The blast made a fireball nearly five miles wide, and people could see it more than 250 miles away. It's known as the Castle Bravo test, and it was stronger than the U.S. military had expected. Radioactive fallout spread more than 7,000 square miles. The fallout risk led to a treaty requiring all nuclear tests to be underground. That's been the case since 1963.